Hi, I'm Narid Ansari, and in this video, we're gonna look at the content example for control rig. So, without any further ado, let's begin. So, in here, on first stand, you can see it says that um, we can create a control rig to create animation in sequencer and create animation sequence from that sequencer. And I did create a video about it. Next, we can use these control rig controls in Blueprint, and that's where magic happen so let us see some example on the first stand you can see it's just showing us that we it did create animation with this simple simple rig and it is a forward kinematic or fk let's just go to the next one and this one is for the aim and we can use this aim node for looking at something or using it with the gun and i did show you how you can look at things with this aim node it's just an aim, aim node in control rig that we can control it and you can see the video of tu the tutorial about this aim i did create one this one is for looping rig element and you can see with controlling this we can control multiple um bones like this with one control so next one animating morphs and materials so we can animate in uh, materials in control rig next one is secondary animation and you can see i think there is a root animation and there is this um what you call it this that it's in its head it's uh, it has its own animation next this one is the coolest one i think that we can trace our um, the control of our uh, foot for example to the ground and put it on that ground and it worked well and i will create a video about it so this one is a sphere trace for tracing whatever is beneath us and you can see the right foot is has trace and control on it but the left foot doesn't have so the right foot is working correctly but um, left foot doesn't Next one, again, sphere tracing, and this time it used IK, or inverse kinematic. And you can see when it play an animation, it knows where it should put her foot in. So you can see everything cool. And this one, again, as well. No, this one, I think, doesn't have that because it go through that object, and it shouldn't go through that object. Next, procedural animation state. Hit button to change the state. And we can have multiple animation, and with um, whenever we want, we can change that animation like this. Cool. And next one, layering rigs. So we can have multiple rigs. It's like blend space, right? So we can have it in control rig as well. Next one, additive FK control rig. And this one is the original one, and this one, additive FK control rig. And it's a little bit like um, blend space as well. And uh, in animation blueprint, we can do this kind of stuff as well because there is a lot of. Uh, tools in Unreal Engine in Animation Blueprint that can do all of this stuff. But if you want to do it with Control Rig, you can do it yourself, and you can use it in Animation Blueprint. Another one, Rig um, Inversion, and what it does, it's that uh, backward solve. So whatever animation you have, you can um, customize that animation and make it perfect. So for example, if you want to open a door and your animation is not perfect for the door that you are using, you can use this Rig Inversion or backward solve so you can change that animation to be perfectly for your door okay and the next one rig sharing and that is the cool one that we can create a control rig and use it for whatever character that has those bones and the last one is a spline and what the spline means is that with the less controls you can create some animation with the spline so i will show you in an example in the future videos so the next one is ik rig and let's just go through it this one is about single IK, go, single IK drive and full body IK. Let's just go to the next one. And this is full body IK, this is body mover, and this is body mover and full body IK. So you can see uh, these legs of this spider is a stay at the ground, and these ones can go up, right? So it, this is all about body full body IK. So full body IK with 20 bones per leg. So there's a lot of legs in here, and you can see it stick at the surface correctly. And that's what we want in our game, right? Next one is chain pull strength, low pull strength, and high pull strength. And the next one is the bone limit. So sometimes, for example, this bone shouldn't be this way, right? So there is a limitation to this um, bone, and we can set those in control rig and full body IK because the full body IK is uh, something that you do in control rig. And preferred angles, so um, for example, you can limit the bones angle to be at the preferred angle next one that is additive, additive ik that again look at the surface trace it and it know where the foot should go and you can see all the bones 
change its position because these bones are changing their position and in the next video i will show you how you can do simple things like this next one is just something that with animation it look at something and we did that with um, aim node but you can do it with full body ik as well next one reaching target for example wherever this target is with that animation you can put the hand in there like the door that i did talk about when you want to open the door it should correctly put the hand in there one way is to change in the animation with contrary but no in here we, we can do it with full body ik and wherever we put the target it will hit it right so next one stretching so the bones can stretch and that's it for this video i hope you like it and please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye